Welcome to Worship Leader Hangout. My name is Chad. Today I'm going to show you guys how to take this RGB LED tape and convert it over to DMX so you can use it for your stage designs and other things to just help give it that little extra pop that you need uh, with your design on stage. Um, we're going to use the DMX decoder to get this done. I'll show you from start to finish of how to do this and we'll connect it to our system here and just make sure it works. So here we go. To get started, you'll need a few tools. You're just gonna need a wire stripper. There's a really old one I found here at the church. And you'll need uh, a flathead screwdriver and some clippers. Now this flathead's for this little connection point right here, just the top there. You just crank it down to tighten onto the wire. Now the LED strip that we went with is an RGB LED. You're gonna wanna make sure you have a red, green, and blue wire and a white. So that way we can connect it properly to the decoder so that way you can color mix um, as you would expect out of the RGB LED strip. I like to just go ahead and snip all the way up here um, and what that does is just give us plenty of room to make any mistakes we might make. So then pull these off a little bit. And that one pulled off all the way. We can tape that back together if we need to. All right, so go ahead and separate these. Now on your decoder, you will see a V minus, V plus, COM, channel one, to three. The V minus and V plus is for your power brick. You're going to connect your black and red cable there. Your white wire will go right here, red, green, and blue. Now sometimes these can be wired a little weird and we'll take a look at that once we've got everything wired up and just make sure it's, it is actually working properly. All right, so just go ahead and get to work. Start stripping your wires and get it ready to connect. Now you don't need to strip a lot off because the connection is very small. I'm going to cut this green down just a little bit. Now what we're going to do is we're going to connect our cables to this connection point here on the decoder. Again, your comm is white and then RGB. Okay, so let's get it done. Connections are nice and strong. Thread was a little loose. All right, and white. So there you go. Now what you can do is when you're building your design for your stage, you can actually lengthen these wires and run it down to maybe the floor of the stage or down backstage somewhere to your DMX decoder. So that way you don't have to have a lot of DMX cable running up to the design itself. And you can just run a longer set of wires, tie these together, run it down to your DMX decoder on the floor or wherever you keep that and then run your DMX cable in and out of there. Um, it just makes a little bit more sense to me instead of running DMX cable all the way up to the design and it just uh, looks a little bit more cluttered uh, with the bigger wires of the DMX. So grab your power brick and we're going to do basically the exact same thing. We'll just cut off the end of it, pull these apart a little bit. The one with the white striped line on it it acts as your red. We don't all right. All right. So now we got all our wires connected. We're ready to go test it out. I got this little DMX dip switch calculator on my phone. All you got to do is know exactly what DMX address you want to input and just type it in and it shows you exactly what to do with the dip switches on the DMX decoder or any other fixture for that matter. All right, so I'm gonna turn all of them off. You'll see the LED strip behind me turn off. I'm turning off that fun switch and now I just gotta put in the code that it told me on the app. All right, so now what we gotta do is test our DMX decoder and our LED strip. I'm gonna steal the DMX cable from a fixture sitting right next to me, plug it into the decoder. It should shine kind of like a purplish color. It may look white on this camera, but uh, we're just gonna give it a shot, see if it works. Let's see. Here we go. 
about to see the lights start going crazy. Yep. Okay. Here it is. Three, two, one. Ah. There it is, y'all. Now the book uh, on these things does say don't have them wrapped up like this and on. We're not gonna have it on for very long. Let's see. Kind of see the oh there you go. You can kind of see the color and the reflection on this little stool here. Eh, bluish, purplish, whatever. But it works and that's what matters. Now all you gotta do is uh, you can take off the adhesive on the back of this tape, attach it to whatever kind of stage design you wanna make. Sky's the limit, just be creative and you're set. Now you can mix colors however you want with the LED strips that you can buy on Amazon. All the stuff that's in this video, I will link below so you can check it out if you want to. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments. Subscribe if you want to. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, great worship leaders are always learning. Have a great day, guys.